welcome to another video. So, I recently covered how you can use the E2B free artifacts to generate stuff for free, as they offer a bunch of models that you can use to create things in an artifacts-like feature for free. But, guess what? E2B has launched a new version of the artifacts they offered before. This time, it's much better and very comparable to something like V0. It's now called Fragments. It's actually an upgraded version of the same AI artifacts. In fact, this Fragments repo is simply a renamed version of the old repo. That's why you'll notice it has the same amount of stars and everything. Anyway, for those who don't know about this, Fragments is created by E2B, which is a company that provides sandboxes to run code and other things like that. Previously, they built a project called AI Artifacts, which was pretty good. Now, they've upgraded and renamed it to Fragments. This is an open source project, and it's basically like a clone of V0. You can easily host it locally and use it. It can build projects using Next.js, Python, Streamlit, and Gradio, which is all pretty good. It supports all kinds of providers that you can use. Although it's not fully open source, because to host it locally, you do need to use an API key from E2B. But you can get the API key for free from them. Anyway, all this stuff is good. But the best part about it is its hosted demo. I'm saying it's the best part because it allows you to use it with all these providers for free without needing to provide any API key or anything. It's fully free. You can even use it with O1 Preview for free, which is just insane. So, let's try it out from this demo first. And then I'll show you how you can install it locally as well. First of all, when you come over here, you'll see this page. This UI is a little different from the previous artifacts site they had. Anyway, over here, we have multiple options. First, we have the Persona option. You can use this to specify what you want to do. For example, if you want to create a Next.js app, you'll select the Next.js option. If you want to create a Python app, you can select the Python option, and so on. You can also select the Auto Persona which will automatically choose the best persona based on your prompt. Apart from this, we have the main option, which is the model option. Here, you can see a bunch of model options that you can use, like O1, GPT-4.0, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and many others. It's amazing that people can use these models for free. I mean, V0 costs money to use above a certain limit, which is why, even though I like it, I don't use it. But this is something people can actually use for free. Aside from this, you can set up everything like temperature, max tokens, and stuff like that. This is really handy if you prefer using a model with specific settings. Another thing you can do is attach images, which is also amazing. Personally, when I create stuff, I often add images for inspiration, and that usually gives me really good results. So, that's a super cool option. Now let's try to do something with it. Let's ask it to make a simple calendar app where I can view events and also add new ones. I want to see them in both list view and calendar view. I'm using the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model here. Let's send it and see if it can do this or not. Okay, it's working on it now. Let's wait a bit. And it's done. This looks pretty good. It has what we wanted, and it's working well. You can also check the code here. It looks pretty solid, right? You can copy the code from here, and you can also download it, which is a nice feature. If you want to share what you've created, 
You can use this URL and send it to someone, and they'll be able to view it, which is really convenient. Now, let's ask it to fix some visual and other issues we notice here. It's working on that now. If we wait a bit, There, it's done. Looks pretty good. That's how you can make changes to it, which is also awesome. You can also use O1 or any other model. I prefer using the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model because it works best for me, and it's much faster than O1 as well. Next, let's try to create something with an image. Let's give it this design of a landing page and ask it to create a replica of the page. Let's send it and see. Okay, it's working on it now. Let's wait a bit. And it's done. Let's open this in a new tab by copying the URL. Okay, this looks really good. Obviously, it doesn't have the images and everything, but if we add those, it should look great. So, this is super cool if you want to attach a mock-up or screenshot and maybe convert that, which is amazing. Apart from this, you can also host it locally. Now let me show you how to do that. To host it locally, just go to their GitHub page, copy the repo URL, and clone it to your computer. Once you've done that, just cd into the folder and run the npm install command to get the dependencies installed. Once that's done, create a new .env file and enter the e2b API key and the provider API key like shown here. e2b offers a free API that allows you to create sandboxes for free, so you can use that. Once you've set that up, you can start using it. To run it, just execute npm run dev, and this will start the application. Go to the localhost URL it provides, and you'll be able to use it easily. This is amazing. I think the artifacts were already good, but now it's actually reliable. It works fine, and it doesn't terminate randomly like it used to in the previous version. It is also very good and smooth to use. Plus, the model catalog is also cool. Although, when I use O1, it hangs a lot, and I don't know why, but it does. Personally, I like using it offline as well. I think this is a great option for people to try out, because it's free, and that's always a good thing. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.